we are going to talk about working space requirements. That is the clearance that is required around an electrical panel in relationship to the working space, but also foreign systems. This is complex. We're only going to scratch the surface. You wouldn't believe how much code is devoted to this subject, but let's talk about it in this context. First of all, from the center line of the panel, the vertical center line of the panel. There must be a minimum of 15 inches of clearance to the right and to the left of the panel with a minimum total overall working space of 30 inches. The clearance from the face of the panel is three feet. That's 36 inch clearance. Nothing can be stored in this space. No walls can be framed in this space. This is dedicated working space so that this equipment can be serviced safely. The vertical of the rectangular solid required dedicated for electrical equipment is six foot six inches. That is a minimum vertical requirement. So picture that 30 inch wide, three feet deep, six foot six inches high. In that space, there cannot be any foreign systems, period. HVAC, plumbing, nothing, shelving, storage, no foreign systems in that space. If there is something that relates to the electrical installation, very specific, relates to the electrical installation, there's not a definition for that, but I think you know what I mean. It must not extend more than six inches from the face of the equipment. Let's say I, I had to fit a solar inverter or a step down or a step up transformer or a second panel or a sub panel into this system, it must not extend more than six inches from the face of this equipment. But if it relates to the installation, does not exceed the six inch rule, then it may be contained within that dedicated working space. Foreign systems such as plumbing or anything that could leak fluids onto the installation may not be in the vertical above the panel unless, not even just within the six foot six, but above the panel at all, unless there is a drip protection designed for that purpose. Let's be real, that's probably not gonna happen. Just keep your plumbing supply lines, drain lines, furnace condensate lines, um, water heater discharge, whatever the case may be, keep it out of, you, it can be above the working space but it cannot be above the equipment itself. There is an exception in older homes where panels are located in the basement. A lot of those basements don't have six foot six of working clearance. We probably, I've been in them, you've probably been in them where the ceiling is real low. When that structural ceiling is less than six foot six in a residence, it is permitted by code that the panel be located in that area uh, as, um, as long as the panel size does not exceed 200 amps. That's the extent of the exception. But you typically don't exceed that in a residence anyways. If you would have a 400 amp service, you would end up with two 200 amp panels or maybe a 200 and two 100s. And those may not be located, co-located altogether. They may be distributed to wings or floors of the house. 600 amp service, same situation. You might have three 200 amp panels, maybe co-located, maybe distributed. All of the rules apply, whether it's a main panel or a sub panel, whether it's a 100, 200, 400 amp panel. There are some residences that have 400 amp panels, three phase distribution systems. All of the same rules apply for a thousand volts or less.